One of the most critical and time-consuming parts of the business intelligence stack happens to be the data preparation layer. Now, if you're not familiar with the BI stack, it's basically all the tools that help you go from data to dashboard. Now, with some vendors, they've acquired many tools over the time and they provide different tools for each step. Others are not a complete package and may only be focused on specific areas. Here at Dundas Data Visualization, we provide a single tool that handles everything, but we're perfectly happy to have you come in and substitute other tools to meet various stages of the BI stack. It's all about flexibility. Today, I'm gonna to go into detail about the different types of data activities that you might perform with the data preparation phase in Dundas BI. Oh, and I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. So you might be thinking, what's the big deal? Why do I need data preparation at all? Well, the simple answer is that 95% of the time, the way you're storing your data probably isn't going to be aligned with the way you actually need it. You might have multiple formats, inconsistency, lack of context. There's a lot of things that can come into play. And if you're interested in the subject, take a look at a video that we did called Databases Are Trash Cans. Not only is the icon a cute trash panda, but it also explores some reasons behind the causes of databases becoming a general mess and causing problems for you. Now moving on to data, here's a quick view of the Dundas BI Data Cube layer, which is a single place to come in and solve multiple data issues. You can see that this layer has the ability to deal with the flow of data, as well as transforming it and massaging it to your needs. Let's go over some common data issues and what it looks like to be solved in Dundas BI in no particular order. First of all, data quality. Sometimes blending data between different sources isn't possible because of spelling formatting, inconsistencies and such. Look at these two tables. You can see that some of the people overlap from table to table. John Doe here spelled J-O-N and J-O-H-N. Kevin Smith, not capitalized, and his last name spelled wrong on the other side. You can use the fuzzy logic functions to help with these sort of data issues. Notice that the fuzzy logic is able to bring together these two data sources, realize that some of these inconsistencies exist, and still join them together. So that's something that's very important to help with inconsistency problems in general. Data security. A lot of people want the concept of row or role level security, which takes a large set of data and restricts access to various sections based on information from your end users. Uh, here's an example. Let's say your company owns 35 retail stores across North America. You want to have a BI tool set up so that each retailer in those stores can see their own data and management can see everybody's data. To do this, you would implement something called a security hierarchy, and it will do exactly what you need. As the user logs in, it will segment the data so that they only see what they're allowed to see, and to them, nothing else exists. Data profiling. This is the process of examining your data with statistics and summaries. The Data Cube offers a nice set of tools, but one particular would be the Record Sampling Transform. This allows you to sample a large population of data rather than trying to crunch everything together. Server resources, when you're working with big data, can be a problem, as is performance. Did you know that a randomly selected 1 million record yield will give you a 1% variance on your KPI? That's pretty good. Basically meaning you don't have to necessarily look at all the data, you can look at part of it. Now along those same lines of data profiling, you also have transformations such as percent sampling, ranking, top-bottom analysis, etc. Now on to data parsing. Parsing in general is the process of analyzing something for a specific grammatical structure. When it comes to data, this usually means correcting data types, uh, working with text via string functions, or combining fields into proper date formats. To help with these sort of activities, we have the string transforms to manipulate, trim, and modify text. You've got null replacement, which can remove empty data and put in something meaningful based on specific conditions, etc. There's a lot of tools here to help with this. You've also got data enrichment. Typically data enrichment is all about merging data with third-party sources to provide context that probably doesn't exist in your own data source. Uh, here's an example where we have a country 
and we're merging it with a data table from Wikipedia to provide information about those countries, like population, CO2 emissions, whatever you're interested in. Also, again, we've done a pretty cool video on this subject called adding weather data to your dashboard is a breeze. So if you're interested in pulling in third-party data and blending it with your own data, that might be something worth checking out. Data scripting. So far, I've talked about a lot of pre-built functions for various data-related problems, but the ability to script will help you get over any unforeseen need. If you're technical, this is gonna be one of the single most important features for you to have. To start, you've got the calculated element transform, which allows you to write C-sharp code directly against your data. And you've got Python and R, which are massive languages on themselves with huge statistical and analytical capabilities. You can actually do everything that I mentioned previously with these languages inside Dundas BI just by writing your own script. So if the way we've implemented something isn't exactly what you want, you can certainly reach out and do it a little bit differently. So I know that's a lot of information, but there's actually a lot more capabilities of the data prep than I'm giving you even now. Reason being, I didn't want to make this a 20 minute video covering absolutely everything. Hopefully, this gives you the feeling for what the data preparation layer can do. But if you do want to learn more specifically on the ability to work with large real-time intermittent data, check out the video called Three Data Storage Techniques in Dundas BI. Uh, we also have one called Adding Writeback Capabilities to your dashboard, which covers the concept of data input, which can be very helpful uh, within your Dundas BI data cubes. Hope this has been helpful, and thanks for watching.